हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी लेट्स सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम 446 इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट द हिंज फ्रेम्स ए सी ई एंड डी एफ बी आर कनेक्टेड बाय टू हिंज बार्स ए बी एंड सी डी व्हिच क्रॉस विदाउट बीइंग कनेक्टेड कंप्यूट द फोर्स इन ए बी राइट सो वी हैव टू फ्रेम्स दिस ए ई सी एंड दिस D B F R D F T right and both of these frames are joined by this E B and this C D both of these links right both of these bars. So we have to determine the force in this E B member right. So now this problem is quite interesting right. So before going to solve this problem, what we need to do is that we need to find the distance between E in E and A in the horizontal direction right. So for that, what we need to do is that we need to consider some uh, lengths right. So let's say that we have uh, this triangle and let's say that I have one another triangle. Let's say like this right. and let's say that this point is let's say x and let's say this point is y right so now we want to determine the the xa length right so the xa length is required and this dy length is required right which is which is very important that will help in solving this whole problem right so as we can see that this length if i write that xa plus ad plus dy length this is equal to this ef length right which is 3 plus 2 plus 3 right so this is as a whole equals to 8 meters right so we can write that this is 8 meters this ad is equal to 5 meters and as we can see that this xa length and this dy length they are equal right since this uh, e and f points are symmetrical about uh, a line if i draw a horizontal vertical line here so let's say that this intersection point is let's say p so this ep length and this pf length is equal right so this whole truss are uh, this e and f they are symmetrical they are at an equal distance from this uh, point p right so we can say that this xa length is equal to dy length right so if xa equals to dy so then we can replace this dy by xa as well right so we can write that this is xa and we can add both of these so then we can write that this is 2xa so 2xa plus ad equals to 8 meters and we are interested to find this xa length right so we can write that xa equals to 8 meters minus ad right so ad is how much this is 5 meters this is given so we can write that this is 5 and divided by 2 since this xa is multiplied by 2 So eight eight minus five divided by two. So this is one point five meters, right? So this means that this point A is at a distance of one point five meters from this point E in the horizontal direction, right? And similarly, this point D is at a distance of one point five meters from this point F in the horizontal direction, right? Now the next thing is that we have to find. Uh, in this ab force this ab member force so what for that what i will do is that we will pass a cutting section right since we will solve this problem by using the method of section now if uh, before going to pass a cutting section we need to find uh, one angle which is very important as well right so let's say that this angle is alpha we want to find this angle alpha right so again as we can see that um this a point is at a distance of 1.5 meters from this point e and this d point is at a distance of 1.5 meters from this point f and this whole truss is symmetrical about that vertical line so this means that if this angle is alpha then this angle is also alpha right and if this angle is alpha then this angle is also alpha since it's an alternate angle and similarly this angle is also alpha right so we we need to find this alpha angle right so to find this alpha angle what i will do is that i will draw a vertical line here at from this point c right and let's say that this point is t let's say this intersection point is let's say t and we want to find this alpha so to find this alpha we can write we can observe this tdc triangle right so from that tdc triangle we can write that tan alpha is equal to the perpendicular which is tc right so i can write that this is tc divided by the base of this triangle which is td right so i will write td 
so TC is we can see that TC is 6 minus 4 this 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 is 2 meters right so we can write that this is 2 so we can write that this is 2 meters and TD right so this whole length is 5 meters uh, this length is 3 meters and if I draw a vertical line here so then this length is 1.5 meters we now know it if this is 1.5 meters then this is also 1.5 meters right so this means that this AT length is 1.5 meters so if this is 1.5 meters and this whole length is 5 meters then this length is uh, 5 minus 1.5 so this is 3.5 meters right so the base of this triangle is 3.5 meters right so we can write that this is 3.5 meters and from this we can find alpha we can write alpha a equals to 10 inverse 2 divided by 3.5 and from this alpha comes out is 29.74 degrees right so now we know this alpha angle right this alpha angle is 29.74 now i will pass a cutting section so let me pass a cutting section so if we pass a cutting section so then we will be able to see this a b force like this let's say this is a b so this will be c d right and this angle is also alpha remember this is also alpha right so now if we resolve this a b and this c d force is right so we will have one component of a b in this direction and this one will be a b cos component we can write that this a b cos of alpha and similarly we will have a sine component vertically downward right so this is the sine component we can write that this is a b sine of alpha similarly if we resolve this c d then it will have two components it will have one component in this direction this is the cos component right i will write that this is c d cos of alpha let me remove this b point right so this is cos component and similarly uh, we will have the sine component which will be acting vertically upwards right so this one is the this one is the sine component so we can add that this is c d sine of alpha right so now uh, since we do not uh, know the reactions at point e and f right so let's say that this is the reaction at e in the x direction and this is the reaction at e in the y direction but we are not required to find this e x and e y since we are applying the summation of moment at point E equals to 0 for this section, right? For this uh, left hand side of that cutting section, right? So now if we apply the summation of moment about point E equals to 0, so now as we can see that this cos component of EB it is producing the clockwise moment, right? So let's say that the counterclockwise moment is positive, right? So this cos component of EB is producing clockwise moment about that point E. So I will write a b cos of alpha and the perpendicular distance of uh, this cos component from that point E is this x e length which is 6 meters right. So I will multiply this with 6 and since uh, this is producing clockwise moment so we will write minus. Now as we can see that this sine component is also producing the clockwise moment about that point E so again I will write minus and this is a b sine of alpha and the perpendicular distance of this sine component from that point e is this x a length right so we we have determined this this x a length is 1.5 so we will multiply this with 1.5 similarly as we can see that again this c d cos component is producing the clockwise moment about that point e so i will write minus c d cos of alpha and the perpendicular distance of and this cos component from that point E is this 4 meters, right? So we will multiply this with 4. And similarly, this sine component of CD is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point E. So we will write plus, and this will be CD sine of alpha. And the perpendicular distance of this sine component from that point E is this 3 meters, right? So we will multiply this with 3 and this will be equal to 0 right so to simplify this uh, first i will write that sine of alpha equals to and alpha is uh, this angle which is 
So if we calculate this sine of alpha is 0.496 and cos of alpha is 0.868. Right, so we can put these values in this equation and I will take AB common from this. So AB and this will be minus 6 cos of alpha. So cos of alpha is 0.868 minus 1.5 sine of alpha is 0.496 and again I will take uh, CD common right, so this will be minus 4 into cos of alpha so cos of alpha is again 0.868 and this will be plus 3 sine of alpha and sine of alpha is 0.496 and this is equal to 0 right so if we simplify this then this is a b and this is uh, from this we get minus 5.952 right and similarly this is again minus 1.984 cd and this will be equal to 0 from this equation we can write that minus 1.984 cd equals to plus 5.952 AB and if we uh, divide this 5.952 by this minus 1.984 so we will get it as minus 3 AB right so this CD is equal to minus 3 AB right so so let's say this is equation 1 right now as we can see that since in this equation we have uh, two unknowns so we are required to have one another uh, equation right so for that what we will do is that we will consider the right hand side of that cutting section right and then we will apply the summation of moment about point f equals to 0 and we will assume that the counterclockwise moment is positive right. So again uh, here we have that point C, so this is that CD force, right? let me write that this CD, this angle is alpha and this one is again AB, right. And here that AB force was acting away from this joint A, so, so we have to consider that same direction, right. So this AB, if this AB is acting away from this point A, so this means that this, we have assumed that this AB force is in this tension force, right. So then we have to consider it as a tension in this at this point B as well, right. So at this point B it also need to be acting away from this point B, right. And similarly this CD force as well, right. We will resolve this CD force into its components, right. So then it will have one component like this. So this will be CD cos of alpha and similarly we will have one another component. So this one will be the sine component. I will write that this is CD sine of alpha. Similarly this will be the cos component of AB and this will be the sine component of AB, right. This is AB cos of alpha. This angle is also alpha, right? And similarly, this is AB sine of alpha, right? So now if we apply the summation of moment about point F equals to 0, right? So now as we can see that this sine component of CD is producing the counterclockwise moment about this point f right so i will write cd sine of alpha with plus sign and the perpendicular distance of this cd sine of alpha from that point f is 1.5 right that, that is equal to x a land right so this is 1.5 right if i extend the line of action of this component right so this length is 1.5 we have already determined this right Similarly, the cos component of this CD is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point F. So again, I will write plus CD cos of alpha and the perpendicular distance of this component from that point F is this 6 meters length, right? So we will multiply this with 6. Similarly, as we can see that this cos component of AB is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point F. So again, I will write plus and this will be a b cos of alpha and the perpendicular distance of this cos component from that point f is 4 meters right so we will multiply this with 4 
and similarly this sine component is producing the clockwise moment about that point f right like this so we will write minus and this will be a b sine of alpha and the perpendicular distance of this sine component from that point f is this 3 meters length right so we will multiply this with 3 and similarly as we can see that we have this load as well right this external force right so this 10 kilonewton force is producing the clockwise moment about this point f so i will write hmm, 10 this this is producing clockwise moment so we will write minus 10 and the perpendicular uh, distance of this 10 kilonewton force from that point f is 6 meters so i will multiply this with 6 right and this will be equal to 0 so now we can simplify this if I take CD common, so then CD, it is 1.5 uh, sine of alpha and sine, sine alpha is again 0 0.496 plus 6 cos of alpha, cos of alpha is 0 0.868 plus I will take AB common, so this is 4 cos of alpha, so 4 into 0 0.868 minus 3 and this is sine of alpha, so sine of alpha is 0 0.496 and this is uh, minus 60 and on the other side of equation it will become plus 60, right. So if we simplify this then this is 5.952 CD, this whole sum is, this is equal to 5.952 CD plus this whole thing is 1.984 AB and this is equal to 60. So from equation 1 we have this relation right. So we can put this CD equals to minus 3 AB in this equation. So we can write that this is 5.952 and CD is minus 3 AB plus 1.984 AB equals to 0. So, if we again simplify this, then this is minus 17.856 AB plus 1.984 AB. This is equal to 60, right? So, this is equal to 60. So, we can find AB from this equation. So, this is AB. We can take AB common from this, right? So, this will be minus 17.856 plus 1.984 and this is equal to 60. So, AB is equal to 60 divided by this sum, right? So, this sum is minus 15.872. So, from this AB equals to minus 3.78 kilonewton and this minus sign tells us that this AB force is acting towards that joint B, right? So, we can write that this AB force magnitude is 3.78 kilonewton and this is the compressive force, right? So, this is the solution of this problem.